I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a sex offender was shot to death by the Cleveland Police Department. Authorities say 51-year-old Robert Edwin Eves kidnapped a 28-year-old woman who lived nearby and took her to a house with three children inside. One of the kids managed to call their mom, who called 911. That's when officers Jacob Varnell and Jody Musselwhite arrived. Eves reportedly lunged at them with a knife, and the TBI says one or both officers fired at him. Eves had been convicted of attempted rape in 2006. Bradley County authorities are looking for a man after a fatal shooting on Georgetown Road Sunday. The sheriff's office says Antonio George faces a charge of second-degree murder. 36-year-old Aaron Josh Davis was shot and died at the hospital. The investigation is ongoing. Authorities say a 24-year-old woman was killed in a house fire in Chattanooga. The fire happened Monday night in Hickson. It was the city's first fatal fire this year. Officials said the blaze was too dangerous for firefighters to enter. Afterwards, they found the body of Courtney D. Godwin in a back bedroom. She died of smoke inhalation. 29-year-old Haley Neal escaped the burning house through a window. She was treated at a hospital and released. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. A top Meigs County official has been arrested. Chancery Court Clerk and Master Timothy Prophet has been charged with falsifying a hotel receipt. Authorities say he turned in the receipt for reimbursement. After a month-long investigation, the 52-year-old turned himself in to the Meigs County Jail Tuesday morning. He was released less than an hour later on a $1,000 bond. Chancellor Frank Vernon Williams, who appointed Prophet, called him an honest public servant. He says the indictment apparently stems from a dispute between Prophet and other members of the county government. Southern Champion Trey is adding more than 100 jobs in Chattanooga. The company also plans to invest $18 million in machinery and a brand new truck facility. The company says the 105 new positions will be made available over the next three years. A Saudi Daisy man has been charged with child abuse during his daughter's sleepover. The 13-year-old girl told authorities that 36-year-old Robert Daughtery struck her three times and headbutted her. A 14-year-old friend sleeping over witnessed the incident. She said Daughtery also pulled his wife Tamara by the hair and threw her to the ground. He's being held at the Hamilton County Jail on a $15,000 bond. Authorities say a man stole rare coins worth nearly $40,000. Police are looking for this man who visited Dalton Stamp and Coin November 17th. Officers say he concealed a box of coins under his jacket and told the owner he had to go back to his car to get his credit card. Authorities say the man also may have stolen a rare $1,000 bill in Fort Oglethorpe. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. Finally, two Chattanooga City Councilmen are proposing ordinances to regulate ride-sharing services like Uber. The proposed rules would affect residents who want to become drivers for the services. They'd be required to register with the city, submit to background checks, and have vehicle inspections. They'd also need proof of insurance and a permit that the city would be able to suspend, revoke, or deny. The ordinances will be discussed in upcoming committee meetings. Turning to weather, today will be partly sunny with a high near 52 degrees. The low tonight will be around 35. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.